Hello everybody, this is the Structures Guy, and today we're talking about something different than we have been so far. We are discussing the structural system of the diabolical ironclad beetle. Yes, we are talking about the structure analysis of an insect. In 2015, a very unusual science experiment was filmed for research. On the asphalt of a parking lot, the diabolical ironclad beetle was placed on a pile of dirt and it was run over with a 3500-pound Toyota Camry twice. The result was shocking as the beetle was not crushed by the huge amount of pressure from the tire. This result was puzzling to a man called Jesus Rivera, which led Dr. Rivera to spend his doctoral career obsessively trying to solve the mystery at the University of California in Irvine. Found in the wooded areas of the U.S. West Coast, the beetle is about 2 centimeters or about 1 inch in length and has a lifespan of 2 years. Like some other species of rightless beetle, its wing covers, known as erythra, are not only hardened but also blended together. The advantage is a strong armor that protects it from being crushed. The diabolical ironclad beetle is like a tiny tank on six legs. Five years later, Dr. Rivera and his colleagues have discovered how this indestructible insect earned its name, the diabolical ironclad beetle. Evolution has granted the insect an exterior that can hold its own. The compression tests have shown that it can support a maximum force of 149 newtons, which is a force of 39,000 times its body weight, which is the equivalent of a 150-pound person, resisting the crush of about 25 blue whales. Among the research findings, it was discovered that the beetles fused erythra were interlocked. While other beetles have interlocking erythra, the diabolical ironclad had a greater number of interlocking sections, resembling connected jigsaw puzzle pieces. In later experiments, the team found that the interlocking helped distribute the stress more evenly and the joints were stronger. The insect ex exoskeleton is a multifunctional armor that consists of three key layers an outermost waterproof rail, an intermediate rail, and an inside rail. The two inside rails provide protection and mechanical support for the organism. The structure is tough, energy absorbent, and damage tolerant owing to its ability to deflect, twist, and resist crack propagation at the interface between the rails. Using an image technique called microcomputed tomography, Dr. Rivera and his colleagues observed some striking features at the interfaces in the exoskeleton. The lateral system of the insect made of its lateral support between the erythra and the ventral cuticle, which is the bottom part of the insect frame. The two erythra at the top of the insect frame are connected by a rigid joint called suture, which is permanently fuses the two erythra together. This trapezoidal frame is quite distinct that it has three types of lateral support, which are located in different areas of the beetle, running from the front to the back of the exoskeleton. The three types, as Dr. Rivera describes them, are interdigited, latching, and freestanding based on the interface geometries as you can see here. Such joints in interfacial architecture are absent in other beetles which have only interdigited supports through their bodies. Dr. Rivera did some investigation in the mechanical performance of the three different types of lateral supports using compression tests and computational simulations. He and his teams observed that the interdigited supports are the stiffest and strongest under compression. The latching supports are less stiff under compression, which allows more deformation of the exoskeleton than do the interdigited supports. 
Scans reveal that the contacting surfaces in the latching supports are densely covered by microscale rod-like bumps which might improve the frictional grip of the beater on surfaces. The freestanding support like a firm connection between the urethra and the ventral cuticle, allowing the two surfaces to slide easily past each other under compression. So, what do those three supports mean for the beetle in terms of everyday life? The strong and stiff interdigitated supports are utilized to protect the beetle vital organs from being crushed, whereas the latching and freestanding supports allow the formation of the exoskeleton such that the beetle can squeeze into cracks and rocks all three gaps. This means the beetle is stiff yet flexible at the same time depending on the situation it faces. Back to the suture, which acts like a jigsaw puzzle and connects various exoskeleton blades. Those suture blades come to the rescue in two distinct ways depending on the amount of force applied. First, the interlocking blades lock to prevent themselves from pulling out of the suture like puzzle pieces. Second, the structure and blades delaminate or divide which leads to a more peaceful deformation that prevents catastrophic failure of the exoskeleton. Even if a maximum force is applied to the beetle's exoskeleton, the laminations allow the interlocking blades to pull out from the suture more gently. In engineering applications, commonly used joints often fracture at their thinnest regions where the tensile stress is concentrated, leading to unpredictable and catastrophic failures. The laminated blades in the beetle fracture in a more predictable and gradual manner than do joints used in engineering, initially producing non-propagating circumferential cracks. In fact, it was found that integrating such features from the beetle can produce stronger joints than fasteners typically used in turbine engines. Those features could also inspire sturdier designs for body armors, buildings, bridges, and vehicles. There is a lot to learn from the beetle when it comes to stiffness and strength. I hope you enjoyed this video, I learned something from it. See you next time!